r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. Autistic people of reddit. What would you like everyone to know? If I'm asking questions that seem dumb even though I seem smart most of the time just answer them. Sometimes all I need is the context I'm asking for to help me sort things out. So annoying when people think that something is obvious and act all frustrated in these situations. Autistic adults exist. It's not like as soon as we turn 18 we wave our autism goodbye. Autistic women exist too. We're just harder to spot than the men. That autism isn't a one-size-fits-all diagnosis. It's a very broad, non-linear spectrum. More like a color wheel than a straight line. Also, just because you might not think someone looks autistic or you never would have guessed, doesn't mean they aren't. Chances are, those people expend a lot of energy masking their autistic traits to fit in. Got. This is what I want people to know. I spend so much time and energy to look normal and I hate it. I wish people like my classmates knew this. That talking and working with them is so hard for that reason. If I mention that I can't tell if you're joking or serious. Even if it's blindingly obvious that you were joking. I need you to bear with me when I ask. Because sometimes it is so difficult to differentiate between a joke and a serious sentiment. I literally almost sat on my boss lap at work because he made a gesture that I interpreted as come sit. Obviously I'm terrible with body language. So I stepped toward him then asked him. You don't want me to sit on your lap. Do you? One of the more embarrassing interactions with my boss. You don't look autistic is the worst thing you can say. Like yeah. I know that you would never guess that I'm autistic without me explicitly telling you that. That still doesn't mean that I'm not. My question is always how does one look autistic it's not like we don't function. If I seem standoffish to you. It's literally because I have zero social skills and will not approach you to talk if you don't talk to me first. Exactly. I'm still an introvert but I will be very nice and sociable if I'm not the one initiating conversation. Being autistic does not mean a lack of empathy. We may not express or process our feelings the same way as neurotypical people do. But it does not mean we don't have feelings. This. In fact. Many on the spectrum have very intense feelings that can be overwhelming at times. And we don't know how to process them. Which can lead to meltdowns. One reason I sometimes seem cold or not affectionate toward others is because if I were to really allow myself to feel and express the empathy that I have towards them. It would be too much and I'd be overwhelmed by depression or anxiety for days. That eye contact is a weird horrible thing and I don't know how you people do it. Oh shit that one hit hard. Sometimes it just works. But once I'm aware of it it's complete and utter hell lol. Oh. Infodumping. Opted to mention it because the sheer amount of horrid things that I have seen being aimed at autistic people for infodumping is nasty. We often get special interests in things. And enjoy gathering information and talking to others about them. We find someone to talk to about it and everything comes out. Talk your ear off for hours easily. And the details will often be very intricate. We don't mean anything other than being excited about the thing. We don't always catch on that you're not interested in the intricacies of George Carter's relationship with the Chiss Ascendancy. Sorry. It's not just trying to show off. To look superior. Being elitist. Or gatekeeping. We're just excited over something we enjoy. My 13 year old grandson with ASD has this same passion. He's a gamer with astonishing recall on the intricacies of his favorites. Including release dates. Updates. Designers. Character details. The list goes on and on. I committed at his birth to be the best grandma he could ever want. So I listen excitedly as he chatters on. And. Though I'm not a great player. Have learned so much about game culture and development from him. I wish so much that everyone he meets would take the time to listen to his excitement. I understand your emotions. In fact I understand them so well that my own emotions are influenced by other people's. And other people's emotions can easily overwhelm me. Emotional states of myself and others are easy to read. Especially in voice tone and expression. But I don't get your body language. At all. Yes this isn't universal. I just get annoyed at the whole you're all a social. You don't understand emotions when in fact it differs for everyone. 
I can read other people's emotions easily. But not everyone can. I forget to put emotions on my face sometimes. Some people I know get overwhelmed more by their own. Some can't read expression or tone like I can. Some can read body language where I go blank. We're not one size fits all. I actually came here to say that not everyone with autism has alexithymia. Which you describe perfectly. Feel free to tell me to back off if you don't want to talk about it. But I'm really curious about something. When I got tested for ASD as part of my AD, H, D intake. A large part of the testing procedure was based on mind blindness. That is. The ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes. I've kind of been wondering if people who have autism but not alexithymia are actually much better at this than people with both. If so. Would it be much harder to diagnose because being able to recognize emotions perhaps also automatically causes lower mind blindness and therefore higher reciprocity? Or does recognizing emotions not really help with reacting appropriately? Can I ask how this works for you? And do you think you were more difficult to diagnose because you do recognize emotions? I was diagnosed with Asperger's at the age of 11. I feel like I'm part of a play where everyone has the script except me. I'm sorry but I can't help but think. Wow that's deep. I totally get what you mean. Just because I'm quiet doesn't mean I'm snooty or aloof and desire to be excluded. Reading through these comments. I'm getting worried that I might have autism. How did you who have autism find out? Speak with a doctor and try and find a professional who can identify it. And honestly. If you've lived your whole life not knowing you're autistic. It's not like finding out now is gonna fix your problems. But it might explain them. I can pay better attention to what you're saying if I'm not looking at you. So when my gaze wanders and I'm staring at the floor or the walls. Or anything but you. I'm listening intently. I just can't focus on looking at you or making eye contact and understand what you are saying at the same time. If I look at you. I won't hear you. If you call me on the phone. I will also not hear you. Phones stress me out. I can pay better attention to what you're saying if I'm not looking at you. Same, honestly. There are times when I wonder if going blind would make the world less of a sensory nightmare. Or at least. Make it easier for me to talk smoothly. When I seem slow to you it's because I need you to be more specific in what you need from me. My brain is literally unable to play the guessing game. Edit 1. Oh my god. Thanks for all the upvotes. Didn't expect this. Thanks everyone. Edit 2. Thanks for the gold. First one finally. More accurately it can play the guessing game. It just plays it way too seriously. We are not all like Sheldon Cooper. Sean Murphy. Forrest Gump or other extremely autistic people in movies series. Ugh Sheldon is like the black face of autism. We tend to notice the weirdest stuff or things in the background. A skill that has served me well in my line of work. Please don't be one of those people who assumes autism means we have a higher low mental age. I'll be insulted if you talk to me like I'm 8. I'll be confused if you talk to me like Albert Einstein. Textures and sounds are painful. Sometimes even being touched can hurt. This world is very isolating for many of us. Some are too autistic for the NT world and some aren't autistic enough for the special needs world. No. Not everyone is a little autistic. You don't understand why how what. Some of us may have flat tones and cannot express emotion but we do feel. And the autism jokes sometimes make us sad and or angry. Meltdowns and tantrums. In a meltdown you lose all awareness and it can be very dangerous. Thanks for saying all these things. I don't have autism but my kid does. He's a toddler and still learning to express himself and I'm still learning how to be the parent he needs. Reading accounts from people with autism is very helpful. People used to tell me to discipline him during meltdowns but I could tell he was in a lot of pain. I just stay close to him. Offer comfort, words and touch. If he allows it, and it seems to be a far more constructive way to deal with it. That autism speaks as a hate group. The Autistic Self Advocacy Network is a better organization to support. What did Autism Speaks do? I don't doubt that they're a hate group. But just out of curiosity. I am going to say something that offends you. It's going to happen. And when I do. Tell me. 
Tell me or I won't have any idea what I did wrong or why you're upset. I might be different. But that doesn't mean I wanna be treated any differently to anyone else. I've had people pull 180s on me and start talking to me in baby talk after me telling them that I'm autistic. I ducking hate it. That not everyone with autism is like Rain Man. We can't all recite from memory what day of the week certain events happened or our sevens however we all have different strengths and some of us have intense interests that we know a lot about. We are not a party trick for this either. Ever heard of autism hitting in plan sight? Next time they want to make one of your stupid autism jokes in class keep that in mind. Someone is sitting in there. Already feel bad about having the diagnosis and being scared what people might think. It doesn't help us. It just makes us shut up even more. We are everywhere. You just doesn't see. Sometimes my brain hard locks trying to process sentences out loud, sort of like when you can't remember a word. But for the entire sentence forming apparatus. The analogy I use is when a program goes not responding on your computer, it's not thinking or waiting. But it's just stopped and spam clicking on it does nothing. Either have to wait for it to kick back into processing. Or restart from scratch. Had a job interview where they asked me a question that I didn't have an answer prepared for. And I spent a very awkward, what felt like 5 minutes, 30 or so seconds of silence where I knew I was supposed to be talking. But my brain was stalled. It's not that I couldn't work out what to say. It's that I couldn't work out how to speak. Every autistic person is different. Some hate physical contact. Some love it. Some can't speak. Some can. Do not assume we are all the same ever. I hope this blows up because people on the spectrum need more of a voice on society. I want to know more because people aren't educated about this stuff. Great question. I thought so too. Because I feel like people see autism as not being able to do a lot of things but that's not true. Having autism doesn't mean we're immediately incapable of doing anything. People who have bullied me in the past bullied me because I'm different and they made me hate who I truly was. As I got older. I learned to love myself and learned to embrace my flaws. I had to get diagnosed in my mid-twenties so that people would finally accept that I have difficulties. I didn't want to get diagnosed. But I felt forced to. Just so I could prove once and for all that it's not me choosing to be a difficult person. In the UK the process takes so much time and in the end you can't really be treated anyway so what's the point when I already know and have accepted it? It's like if you weren't diagnosed as a kid then you're not valid. But only the kids with the most extreme symptoms get diagnosed early and I guess that's what people think autism looks like. It really doesn't take much to adjust the way you interpret what I'm saying or just to understand I might not be as clear as I want to be. But people will still overreact and misinterpret. Despite knowing I have difficulty communicating. Even if I didn't have autism it wouldn't be unreasonable to understand that. But people in general still don't get it. Even ones who rave about mental health awareness. It's like autism isn't taken as seriously as depression or anxiety because it's not urgent. It's viewed as a permanent thing that can't be cured so it's treated like a lost limb. Anxiety and depression are easier to understand I guess and are somewhat curable with treatment in time. Whereas autism is a bottom line disability so there's no point trying. I don't really get that but that seems to be the attitude of a lot of people who I thought would be more understanding of mental health. Might just be me being around bad people but my entire experience at school and university in the UK has made me feel like this is just how society is. If I'm looking at your shoes or behind you when I'm talking to you it means I'm paying attention to what you're saying. I'm not ignoring you. Having to act normal is so ducking straining. I'm monotone and don't like being touched. But family and social pressure, including having teachers screaming in my ducking ear, to act normal. Not normal but a non-disabled normal. I'm always multitasking. Acting. Dealing with sensory issues, sight, sound, and touch. And doing whatever I am. It's like being in the closed for a gay person in a bigoted area, which I was. The stress broke me in different ways. I was also supposed to be the good autistic who could prove we were just as smart and worthy as normal kids. We're not all introverted. I love going out and talking to different people. Trying new things. 
Physical activity can be difficult as we have coordination issues. I have trouble at jobs because I don't talk about my condition as I have been terminated for it or threats of termination. The people in charge who should do something about the discrimination are usually against me. Or they treat me like I'm trying to freeload off the system. I have other disabilities and doctors. Teachers. ETC only tell me it could be worse instead of being helpful. Ducking like and subscribe.